Hello, everyone. So I never tire of this event. I'm always thrilled to celebrate the success of this program and each and every one of you. Congratulations to all the graduates and their families who've supported them in this process. But I am doubly thrilled to be here today to pay homage and tribute. Um, gosh, I'm going to get choked up. <laughs> um, to, to Gladys um, Rodriguez Parker, um, who has been a mentor to me and so many others by her example. And it's been a stellar example, not only as a professional, but as a person. And, um, you know, we just love you so much. And, you know, there's a saying that um, we make our living by what we do and we make a life by what we give. And Gladys has given so much to each and every one of us and uh, we're eternally grateful. Um, and she's also not only been a friend to me, uh, but a friend to the Kerry organization. And in fact, in our uh, presidential campaign, she served as one of five uh, Massachusetts campaign co-chairs. Um, and so unfortunately, Senator Kerry could not be here today, um, but I, I'm here on his behalf. And if you'll indulge me, I'll, uh, I'll read uh, this uh, proclamation. Um, the 110th Congress and uh, the Honorable John Kerry of Massachusetts recognizes Gladys Rodriguez Parker. I am proud to, on August 8, 2008. I am proud today to offer my sincere thanks to Gladys Rodriguez Parker for her years of service to the people of Worcester and the 3rd Congressional District. And I wish her the very best as she begins a new chapter in her life. Respected throughout the world of Massachusetts politics for her professionalism, integrity, that is a big one, intelligence and savvy, Gladys has made an extraordinarily positive impact on all those who have worked with her, whether that person is a high school student in Worcester or a junior senator from Beacon Hill. Tireless in her advocacy for those in our society who are too often overlooked or ignored, Gladys is a champion for the underdog and is never shy from taking the fight to those who stand in the way of true economic, educational, and social equality. To term her a rising star in Massachusetts politics is inaccurate. Gladys Parker Rodriguez secured star status long ago. Go ahead and stay standing. So we've only given um, a few of these to um, to uh, Senate President Travellini. Uh, who was uh, extraordinarily helpful in launching uh, this program uh, to uh, the uh, campaign, uh, professional campaign workers in the Deval Patrick campaign. Um, and, uh, and so it's very few that we've given this award. You know, as, as I said, our mission and our goal is to open the doors of government. And uh, so we think that that is a very important ideal. And there's some people who really take that to heart because it's very easy to get in and forget and go to the next step and forget about the people behind you. But you know, really what this program is about is we get there and then we help others in. And there are very few people in this state uh, who, are, uh, who deserve this uh, in the way that uh, Gladys Rodriguez Parker deserves this opening the doors of government award. Thank you to the Commonwealth Seminar and congratulations to the graduates today. You're really embarking on something that I have personally have worked on for, for many, many years, more years than I like to count. But it's so wonderful that you have had the opportunity to formally put words to what you were doing, feelings to what you were doing, and the idea of bringing little kids into the state house and showing them the way is actually um, the way that I think takes away from what I usually tell people, you know, that democracy is, there's no monopoly on democracy and that we may have fat cats on either party. But you know, at the end of the day, it's the people in this country that keep this country humming. And um, I, I sincerely believe that. I am a product of, uh, from Puerto Rico originally. I spent my first, um, my childhood in Puerto Rico. And, um, you know, City Hall, the State House, and those kinds of places, these kinds of places were places where other people worked, where other people went to. And, um, and so when we say opening the doors to government and stuff like that, 
I was the kind of person that was always saying, well, why can't I go there? And in our community, that's called una entrometida. That's called a busybody. That's what those things are called. And um, not only that, you're called, then you are sing singled out as an opinionated person. Ah, yes, esa tiene opiniones. I mean, that's what, that's what you're called. And if you're a girl, you know, those things are even more so. But you know what? That's exactly what you need to do. This place, city halls across the country, the state house, the capital, belong, really belong to the people. And when I walk through the halls of Congress or I walk through the halls of the state house and I see folks from our community, it pleases me to no end. Um, there's lots of opportunities in government, and those opportunities can be from the young man in Springfield who I'm like, when are you going to run? Um, where is he? I'm like, are you announcing your candidacy here today? Because, okay, because, and, and we truly need, we need representation from all walks of life, whether it's people who come from other countries, whether it's people who have been here for women, minorities, and I hate that term, I hate, whether it's people of color or minority, we have to get to a point where we're, you know, calling ourselves, um, Nothing pleased me more than working with my good friend Ruth Rodriguez, who's in the back. Nothing pleased me more than working on the John Kerry campaign four years ago. Nothing pleased me more than working on the 2000 campaign for Al Gore in 2000. Nothing is pleasing me more now than working on the campaign and what we have to do between now and less than 80 days from now. Um, nothing is pleasing me more there. But um, I'm really pleased to be here, and my friend um, Giovanna Negretti with um, OISTE, the Commonwealth Seminar, OISTE, and these kinds of alphabet soup organizations, you know, we sat around um, many years ago thinking about ways to put these things together. And just sitting around putting this stuff together, look what it's already created. 14 graduations, that means an army of people like us who are out there to take on leadership roles. I congratulate all of you. I congratulate all of you. I want to introduce you to a few special people in my life. My first is my mom, my mentor, and my, um, my, um, my mom. My husband, Steve Parker, he's the GRP. I'm GRP, he's the Parker. <laughs> my sister-in-law, Lisa, and the two love of my life, my nieces, Amelia and Ella, all who came to see me today. Thank you.